This video explains the use of the virtual ASOC by international relief teams in disasters. When a major disaster strikes, virtual ASOC moderators create a disaster discussion in the section Emergencies. Disaster discussions have a standardized information structure, which helps to find or post information easily. All users are requested to post new information under the appropriate subtitle to avoid confusion. Relief teams that are preparing to assist can inform others by creating an entry on the relief teams. To do this, relief teams create a new record in the discussion title Relief Teams, using the link, Add, Team, in the header. When creating a new team record, the team type has to be selected first to open the correct input form. Relief team records contain information about the team's capacity and arrival details, which is used for planning purposes in the field. After saving the form, the team is included in the overview of international relief teams. New information updates on the virtual ASOC are color-coded to help finding latest information more easily. The team information can be changed when necessary by clicking on the team in the yellow menu in the discussion title Relief Teams. Alternatively, the input form can also be opened by clicking on the team in the overview list. File attachments can be added to the team record. The person who creates team records can allow other users to modify this information using the coworker function on the input form. This may be useful if the information should be updated by several members of the team, also from the home base. The team input form also supports the exchange of operational information during the deployment. For this purpose, a comment field is available at the right of the form, which is visible after the form has been saved. To support operational coordination effectively, Virtual ASOC moderators may decide to create separate discussion titles for different operational areas in the disaster country. If this has been done, the team has to select the correct operational area before entering operational information. When saved, the operational information is automatically inserted as comment in the respective discussion title for further processing. The operations manager in the on-site operations coordination center informs the team at the initial briefing about which operations HAL information is expected to be shared. Typically, the following operational information will be shared, relocation or reassignment of the team into another area, results of the operation, identified gaps, and situation updates of general interest. The operational information provided by relief teams is used in the on-site operations coordination center for operational planning, but also as input for briefings and reporting. The virtual ASOC moderator in charge for operational information management will periodically update the summary in the respective discussion title. After the update of the discussion summary, all previous comments are automatically hidden to reduce the information load on the page. At any time, all previous comments can be opened using the link view, slash, add comments, in the yellow menu of the discussion title. Other relevant information that does not relate to the team's operation should be posted under the appropriate discussion title by using the respective view, slash, add comments, link. After completed mission, teams are requested to update their team record and change the team's status to mission completed. After the deployment, teams are encouraged to upload, and share with others, a concise lessons learned report with issues that are relevant to international coordination and the virtual ASOC. Users can create bookmarks to facilitate navigation to discussions of interest. Bookmarks are created by clicking on the star icon next to the discussion title in the discussion overview. Bookmarks can be easily removed by clicking on the yellow star next to it. Users, who wish to receive notifications when new information is added in a discussion, can subscribe using the icon SMS email in the discussion header. 
The Virtual ASA offers a simulator where all users can practice their procedures online and familiarize themselves with the tool. We strongly recommend that relief teams make the use of the virtual ASOC an integral part of their response procedures.